We're going to go through a shorter internal rotation eccentric in the sleeper position. So Scott sets up in his sleeper position with the hips slightly back, legs bent. Now there's a few variables to play with, but ideally this elbow is going to be slightly below your shoulder and then he's going to bend his arm to roughly between 90 degrees to 50 degrees, so right in between that range. And the other variable that we can play with is having this shoulder stacked on top of the shoulder or you would take it back a little bit. You want to basically just find the best line of tension for yourself with a stretch. So play a little bit with those um, variables and see what works best for you. Now for the setup, what Scott's going to do is place his top hand over the wrist. Then from here he's going to isometrically contract this whole shoulder region and think about um, rotating externally the shoulder, meanwhile this arm is here to block it. From here what he's going to do, maintaining that isometric contraction, is slowly push down with this arm. And this arm is going to allow the top arm to actually win. So we're going to actually be controlling the intensity by how much we allow that top arm to dictate how fast he pushes the arm down. And that way he centrically loads the shoulder internal rotators as he moves through the stretch. So he goes through to his end range and then what he does to reset is simply just bring the arm back up effortlessly, reset by isometrically contracting the same parts and then pushing down with the arm. That is your shoulder eccentric mule grooving for internal rotation.